the amount of bits that are in there. It's like a jigsaw without any picture on it. The amount of work we have to take on is insane. And that's only about a third of it because the rest of it is in our pickup. The back of that is absolutely crammed. We have seen reality car shows, but trust me, car SOS is one of a kind. If it won't be tagged as an exaggeration, I would say Car SOS is the evergreen series of all car restoration since it's one of the longest TV shows that remain consistent with its episodes. Car SOS is like other car reality shows, but it's mainly based on completing cars other car restorers can't complete due to medical conditions or financial constraints. Cars from all parts of Europe and the United Kingdom are restored to perfection on the show. While we wait patiently for the next season, let's take a moment to appreciate engineer and radio personality Tim Shaw, who has been presenting the show since it debuted in 2013. Wait, did you just hear 2013? Yes. Car SOS has been airing since 2013, spanning 10 seasons with its 11th season starting soon. We all know Fuzz Townshend and Tim Shaw work together with other team members to achieve the goals of each project, but for the purpose of this video, let's focus more on Tim Shaw and get some in-depth information about what really happened to him, shall we? There is a high probability that shows that Garnered fans around the world wouldn't have made such a milestone if some unique characters were not present in the show to give some sort of vibes the viewers enjoyed, and for Kara Soes, the character is definitely Tim Shaw. The show is basically about Tim Shaw and his friend, Fuzz Townshend. The other cast work off camera. Tim and Fuzz visit the family whose car is being restored. While Tim engages them, Fuzz inspects the car. After they conclude on how the restoration should go, Tim sets off to find the parts needed for the restoration while Fuzz works with the team. After the complete restoration, Tim invites the family over to reveal the final product. This is always a highlight of each episode, and what mesmerizes the viewers is Tim's comedic approach in all scenes. He's just going to see you then. Yeah, I know he's going to see me. Yeah, so the game's up. I want to show you the genius. Go on then. Shut your eyes. <laughs> no, you haven't got a even though other casts play their roles diligently while making occasional cameo appearances, Tim Shaw is evidently the alpha and omega of Car SOS. Being an engineer and radio presenter makes presenting shows as easy as reciting nursery rhymes. I mean, how would you know a capable man if not by doing extraordinary things effortlessly? Born on the 9th of June in 1974, Tim Shaw studied product design and mechanical engineering and bagged another degree in professional broadcasting before becoming an internationally recognized host. This shows the road to stardom for Tim hasn't been as smooth as most fans think. Tim has been exceptionally great with crafts and books since he was a kid. He literally scored 100% in A-levels, along with GCSE in design and technology. This record still stands today as no one has been able to beat it in the UK. Similarly, Tim was also named one of the few Young Engineers of the Year in 1992 and 1994. Tim was certified a creative genius by the British Dyslexia Association at a tender age, and by age 16, he started designing products that sold high in the market. A few of his products are folding walking aids and fast flashing brake lights that illuminate during heavy braking. Let's just say he developed everything about cars. So that explains his prowess with cars and is also a deciding factor in making the show an irresistible one for the viewers. It's not an easy feat to have a rating of 8.1 on IMDb with lots of positive reviews. Which TV shows can boast of that, if not Caro SOS? All thanks to the brilliance of Tim Shaw and his friend Fuzz. Tim had it tough during his young age. From being fired at Kerrang! radio station to getting another one gig as a radio presenter and moving on to win awards before he eventually started hosting TV shows to being part of the cast for TV shows himself. It's been a bumpy and long journey for our fave, I must say. So while we await the return of Caro SOS back to our screen, what has Tim Shaw been up to? What really happened to him? Does he have a medical condition as many fans have been saying? Are we seeing our Tim Shaw in the coming season of Car SOS? To clear the air first, nothing has happened to Tim Shaw. He's still into Car SOS 100% and he is presently out of controversy. 
While the show producers plan to return the show, Tim has been busy with work. He works as a TV presenter for other shows like Street Genius, a National Geographic popular science TV show where he conducts experiments on the streets, and viewers are given a chance to answer multi-choice questions. We know Tim to be the reverse of his friend and host partner Fuss Townshend. Tim has been living a quiet life with his better half since their reconciliation. We will get into the reconciliation part pretty soon. So. Tim has probably been enjoying some private time with his lover, and the rumors fans have been peddling around are far from the truth. Tim Shaw doesn't have a medical condition, he's hale and hearty. In fact, he has debunked this on numerous occasions. The websites and channels spreading this rumor are confused about the names. This is due to the fact that his namesake, Tim Shaw, an American football player, is suffering from ALS, a nerve disease that weakens the muscle and hinders physical function. Our thoughts and prayers are with the American football player. We hope he bounces back to being healthy. Moving on, Tim Shaw of Car SOS is healthy. His recent posts on social media platforms also attest to this fact. So, fans and well-wishers can relax their nerves as they await the return of Caro SOS to their screen. Another question flying around is will Tim Shaw be on season 11 of Car SOS? I mean, who else can do a better job than our very own Tim Shaw? His relationship with other cast members is professional, his craft speaks for itself, so why would he not return for the next season? There's a saying that you don't change your winning team. The ball is in the court of the show producers. I'm sure they also understand what the fans want and need. Now that we're sure that our fave is doing fine and free from controversies, how about we go through some of his previous controversies together? Tim Shaw is a reserved person, but behind that innocent face is some crazy stunts. One of his stunts made him almost lose his wife. When Tim was working as a radio presenter, he flirted with model Jody Marsh on air. And yes, the stunt hit home real bad. His wife was so infuriated that she sold his beloved Lotus Esprit for some meager. The car cost Tim Shaw around $30,000, and it was sold within 5 minutes after the stunt he pulled on air. This is one of the few controversies that made Tim Shaw retrace his steps because he had to take some time off work to make peace with his wife. Did he get his car back? I really can't say. Tim Shaw has a soft spot for family and friends. He goes an extra mile for them. This act of kindness cost him his job at Kerrang! radio station after he planned on awarding an on-air competition to his friend. Should this count as an act of kindness, or was he partial to his listeners who trusted him for a fair competition? I'll leave you guys to judge that in the comments section. It's safe to say no act of kindness goes unforgotten. Tim Shaw's kindness is second to none, and that played a major role in his net worth. The Car SOS show he currently features was a gig for his longtime friend, Fuzz Townshend. Fuzz convinced him to go with him to the audition, and within a few minutes into the audition, they got the nod to be the host of the show that has been serving premium content since it debuted. Tim Shaw, Fuzz Townshend, and other casts of Car SOS are strictly into helping people restore their cars, so most are not done from scratch. Even though the process still consumes a lot of time and resources, we can assume that Tim and other cast members make a couple of thousands from each episode. Tim has some side gigs he works on, so he's definitely making enough for himself and his family. Reliable sources reveal that Tim Shaw's net worth would be a little above $3 million in 2022. His net worth might not be the proper worth of someone of his caliber. I mean, man is a genius and should be worth more than that. But for some people, passion overcomes all. And this is likely the case with Tim Shaw. Since we know what is happening with Tim Shaw, we can conclude that our fave has no health or controversies and he's most definitely preparing to give us those vibes in the next season, which hasn't been fixed by National Geographic and show producers. We hope to get an update on the premiering date real soon because we all are eager, are you not?